Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Yogesh, Medical Director and Consultant, Kushi Fertility and IVF Center, Bengaluru. Normally, the size of the uterus in a nulliparous woman between the age of 20 to 40 can range between 6 to 7 centimeters, whereas in a parous woman, it can be up to 9 centimeters in length. When the size of the uterus is such that the maximum length of the uterus on a transvaginal scan is less than 5 cm, it is said to be smaller than normal in size. When the length of the uterus is less than 4.5 cm, it can be termed as being hypoplastic. The size of the uterus is small when there is no functioning of the ovaries. This can happen in a condition called premature ovarian failure or which can also be known as a premature menopause. Because of the lack of the estrogen progesterone hormones, the size of the uterus shrinks. Even in women with severe polycystic ovaries, where regular ovulation doesn't happen, the size of the uterus appears to be smaller in size and sometimes in women with very severe PCO, we see that the size of the ovaries is bigger than the size of the uterus. Usually, the size of the uterus is lesser than normal in the diameter anterior posteriorly and also in the width especially in conditions where there can be congenital abnormalities of the uterus and only half of the uterus is present this is called as unicornuate uterus sometimes in bicornuate uteruses both the horns of the uterus can also be small in size a small uterus can however predispose to preterm delivery there are conditions where the size of the uterus can be increased prior to planning pregnancy, especially in women with premature ovarian failure, where the size of the uterus is small. Regular administration of estrogen and progesterone hormones for over three to six months can increase the size of the uterus. And once the size of the uterus is normal, an IVF with donor oocytes can be performed.